members of the press and the public at large, um, you are welcome to the joint uh, press statements uh, being issued by the National Prosecution Authority and the Drug uh, Enforcement Commission on the official takeover of Esther Nyawalungu's forfeited uh, properties. Today marks a sig significant occasion in our ongoing efforts to combat financial crimes and ensure that crime does not pay. Combating financial crimes, a success, combating uh, financial crimes, and ensure that crime does not pay. Following a successful application for the forfeiture of property made pursuant to the provisions of the Forfeiture of Proceeds of Crime Act Number no. 19 of 2010 of the Laws of Zambia, the National Prosecution Authority, in collaboration with the Drug Enforcement Commission, is proud to announce the official takeover of Esther Nyawa Tembo's Lungu property, number no. 93341 stroke 1, 93342 stroke 2. 9334 stroke 3 and 9333 stroke 4, containing 15 double story flats in State Lodge that were today forfeited to the state by the Economic and Financial Crimes Court. Asset forfeiture is a crucial tool in our collective fight against crime. It sends a clear message that ill gotten gains will not be tolerated and that criminals will not benefit from their illegal activities. By seizing and taking over these properties, we are depriving criminals of the fruits of their wrongdoing and redirecting these assets towards lawful and beneficial purposes for society. We commend the diligent work of investigators under the Anti-Money Laundering Investigation Unit of the Drug Enforcement Commission and the judiciary in securing these forfeitures. Their dedication and commitment to upholding the rule of law and holding criminals accountable are vital in safeguarding our communities and promoting a fair and just society. The Asset Forfeiture Department of the National Prosecution Authority reaffirms its commitment to combating financial crimes and ensuring that those who engage in criminal activities do not profit from their actions. We will continue to work tirelessly to prosecute and recover assets obtained through illicit means, making it clear that crime should never be beneficial to criminals. We urge the public to remain vigilant and report any suspicious activities or individuals involved in financial crimes. Together, we can strengthen our efforts to root out corruption, money laundering, and other illicit ex uh, activities, ensuring a safer and more prosperous future for all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, colleagues from the media. Uh, this marks the end of our exercise.